Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Academy Coordinates. In this video, we're doing a follow-up example from the previous video we did. You know what I'm saying? Okay, we are given a function here. It's an exponential function and we're supposed to sketch, you know, the function and determine the important characteristics. Okay, guys, let's just dive right into it. You know what I'm saying? This is an exponential function. Firstly, we're going to find the intercept, you know, where the function will actually cut the axis, either the y or the x-axis, you know. This is the y-axis, this is the x-axis, this is 0. The equation of the y-axis is x is equal to 0. The equation of the x-axis is y is equal to 0. You know what I'm saying? Okay. The intercept, first of all, the y-intercept, you know what I'm saying? We let x equals to 0. You know, um, why are we doing that? Because of um, we actually want the value of y when x is equal to 0, when the function will cross the y-axis. Okay, cool. So its h of 0 is equals to negative 2, 1 divided by 2 to the 0 plus 1. Okay. Okay, cool. So h of 0 is negative 2. Um, a half to the 0 is going to equal to a 1 plus 1. So negative 2 plus 1, this is equals to negative 1. So the y-intercept will be 0 and negative 1. Okay. So this is the y-intercept. Okay. Secondly, we're going to find the x-intercept, right? Where the function will um, cross the x-axis or count the x-axis, right? So h of x will equal to 0, or we can say we let y equals to 0. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so it's going to be negative 2 multiplied by 1 over 2 to the x plus 1 equals to 0, right? And then after we have to solve for x, you know, so it's negative 2 uh, multiplied by half to the x is equal to, so we take this one, the other side is going to be negative 1, okay? So this is um, 1 divided by 2 to the x is equals to a negative 1 divided by negative 2. So this is going to be a positive value, you know. So um, 1 divided by 2 to the x equals to 1 divided by 2 to the 1. So what will be the value of x here? The value of x will be a 1. So x will equal to 1. So, the x-intercept will be 1 and 0. All right. Cool. Okay. Let us find the asymptote. All right. The asymptote. You know, we have got a horizontal asymptote. You know, right here. The horizontal asymptote, you know, um, of this... Um, exponential function is y is equals to 1 you know let's look at this just for interest sake guys let's just look at this um the function will not touch you know uh, y is equals to 1 this is obviously a horizontal line let's say just for interest sake you know you might not be asked this but i mean okay cool so let's say h of x, where h of x is equal to 1. See, 1 is equal to negative 2 multiplied by half to the x plus 1. Okay, cool. Is is there a way that um, these two can be equal? Is there a way that the left-hand side and the right-hand side can be equal? This is just for interest sake, right? Um... I just want to establish something as far as asymptotes are concerned for this specific example. You know what I'm saying? Is there a way, okay, that what, um, the right-hand side, all in all, can equal to 1? You know what I'm saying? That can only be possible if this entire thing equals to 0. But let's look at it also. Is there a way that this can equal to 0? You know what I'm saying? If you put x is equal to 0 here, this will be like a 1. Um, then negative 2 plus 1, which will, which will be like negative 1. So this cannot be satisfied, right? 
So basically, can is not satisfied. Okay, this this is just for interest sake for those who are interested. So at y is equals to one, or h of x is equals to one. That is where the horizontal asymptote would be. Okay, I think now we can sketch the function unless if you guys are asked to find extra points, you know what I'm saying. First of all, before we can sketch the function, let's look at what exactly happened here, you know. So, we have um, um, h of x is equals to negative 2, 1 divided by 2 to the x plus 1. This, um, this function, right, okay, initially this was a... This was a 2, like a whole number, you know, and then this is a fraction. So our function would have been like this, you know, could have been like this, right? And then the, the negative 2 there, then uh, the negative specifically, um, actually would actually reflect our function, you know, like this. You know, our function would be something like this, you know, and then we had a positive 1. That positive one will shift the entire function one unit upwards. So let's just see how our function would actually be. Will be like, you know what I'm saying? Okay, let us sketch our function. Um, um, okay, that's not the straightest um, axis you've ever seen. Okay, at y is equals to 1. y is equals to 1 there is a horizontal asymptote, right? Okay, cool, cool. So, and then what do we, what do we know? At x, I mean, zero and negative one, negative one, here, this is where the function will actually cut the y-axis, you know? And where will it cut the x-axis? At one and zero, so here, at one here. So, how will our function look like? Our function will be something like this, it's gonna cut here, it's gonna cut here, then after it's gonna go down. You know, but it's gonna be a smooth thing, guys. Okay, cool. So our function will be something like this, you know. Um, yeah, that is the function we're looking for. Okay, cool. So the function, um, it was um initially let me just show you this picture. Okay, the function was like this, and then there was um actually a fraction there, you know. Okay. Let us look at this. Um, I think 2 to the x and then 2 to the negative x. Can you guys see that this is equals to 1 divided by 2 to the x? You know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. So basically, our function, this one, was reflected on the y-axis. So it was like this. You know what I'm saying? So our function was like this. You know, let's say it, this was the function. It was taken like this. And then after, after that was done, our function was reflected also on the um, x axis. You know, there's like a negative there. So our function will actually be something like um, from this to this, to something like this. And then after it was shifted one, two units upwards, you know, I mean, I mean, one unit upwards by the reason of y is equals to 1, you know. So that is what happened to our function. Okay, guys, uh, without explaining further, let us find the domain of the function, where the function exists horizontally. Okay, looking at this, this function exists everywhere horizontally, right? So it acts an element from negative infinity to positive infinity. That's the domain of the function. And then the range, the range will actually be different. So it's going to be y an element of from negative infinity. The function exists, 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 exists. But here, when y is equal to 1, the function does not exist. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then obviously, even above it, it does not exist. So our range will be from negative infinity up until 1. And 1 is not included. You know what I'm saying? And where the function increases... Um, where the function increases, this function increases from negative infinity. It goes up, 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 up. So this function is actually increasing. You know, the values, the values of x where this function is increases x, an element from negative infinity um, until what? 
this this function is increasing 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 the values of x you know what i'm saying so it's actually from negative infinity up until positive infinity this function increases everywhere so it, it, it's going like this you know i think you'll appreciate that when you're actually doing a table method you know what i'm saying this function is actually increasing and where is this function decreasing there is nowhere where this function decreases this function is increasing everywhere so this one is not applicable or this function is not decreasing anywhere you know what i'm saying okay cool guys we're able to sketch the graph of an exponential function you know that was uh, reflected on the y and the x-axis and shifted one unit um upwards you know what i'm saying so this was the shape of the function and we were able to find the domain you know the range um and the values of x where the function is increasing and decreasing so all right guys do stay blessed and enjoy the rest of your day if you've got any questions feel free to you know comment below or send me an email you know what i'm saying and then after i'll be glad to assist you guys do stay blessed enjoy the rest of your day